Hey everyone, Ed and I are on our way to the St. Louis NARBC, or North American Reptile Breeders Conference, and we are going to be vending at this show. So we have a van full of merch and 80s clothing and adoptable animals. Wait, and we're wasn't this, isn't the drive to St. Louis, don't we go by the, the Iowa's largest frying pan? No, we do not need to see I think the frying do. pan. No, I last think we time, go. we already saw it last time, we do not need to see the... Well, here we are. There's the pan. Yay! Are, are you happy now? Yep. Okay, well, I think we're gonna... What do you think I used to season this? I'm gonna go now. I have a show to do. How many pancakes do you think it could have? Yep, goodbye! You better come with or I'm leaving you behind. I bet this would make the best drying pan. Well, I left Ed behind. He didn't want to leave. So if anybody wants to give him a ride to the show, he's your problem now. I guess that means I'll be doing the St. Louis show. So we're doing a meet and greet on Saturday. It's going to be 80s themed. Should be pretty fun. I have a lot of merch with me for the tables. And I also packed a bunch of adoptable animals, some of which are already pre-adopted, just getting picked up at the show. And many of which are still up for adoption. So hopefully we can find a lot of them homes during this show. And I don't know how I'm going to do this by myself now, but I guess it's just you guys and me. So first things first, let's drive to the show and find our tables. All right, I am here and I got checked in. I have a bin of reptiles in there. And now I just have to figure out where my tables are. I assume I'm where we were last time. This is where I am this time too. Perfect. All right, I have plenty of tables. Now I have to unload the van and get set up. All right, I'm gonna put these, I guess, I'll just make a pile. I'll make them look pretty later. We have a lot of stuff to unpack. And what? Hi. How? What? How did you get here? An old, nice old man who's also a giant frying pan enthusiast brought me. He, he just what? gave you a ride? Well, I mean, GGRA, no one rides for free. But I brought you chocolates. Oh, cho oh nice. That's for not helping you uh, bring oh. anything in. Oh, don't worry. There's still a ton to do and lots uh, of boxes well, in the van. Here's the chocolates. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go Ooh. hang out with Greg some more. Uh, no, I need your help still. Come back. No. <laughs> ah, look at these awesome new thermoses. I have not seen these new designs on thermoses yet. There's lavender hognose. That's a sweet one with our logo. Look at these patterns. So Stacy, who we get our merch or our thermoses from, makes these and she did a fantastic job. I just wish my phone would focus on all of them. Look at that pretty rose pattern with the taggy redo. Each one of these is just awesome. I love them so, so much. These are, I don't know which one to grab. These are just fantastic. So eventually with that warehouse, we'll be able to have these online too, not just at shows. How are shirts? Um, I folded this. Those look good. Yeah, I haven't folded this or all that or that or those three boxes. You're getting there. Good job. Hooray. We have all our merch <laughs> set up. We've got a bunch of random things over there, some other things over here, and then sweatshirts because it's colder, cold season now, and t-shirts over here. And I think, I think that's it. Oh, we have plush animals yeah. going over there. We have everything out yet. Yeah, not everything is out. You don't have like the snakes. Yep, those still have to go out. That's yeah. a cool one. Yeah, it is. I like that one. We brought some plush from our store because why not? I guess I don't know how well it's going to sell. But for anyone wondering if we were going to bring enough shirts this time around because we sold out last St. Louis show, we brought twice as much. So I think that'll be enough shirts. And we also brought rescued leopard geckos whose enclosures I still have to clean out. But I'm just going to wait till tomorrow so they look fresh and clean for the show. Yeah, they're just going to poop all over there and again. <laughs> do everything. Exactly. But we have some like Alvin here. We have Morgan back there. We have Lizzie who's regrowing her tail and these are all leopard geckos that have been surrendered to Adoption Island and they've passed quarantine, they have passed their health exam, and they are good to go. They are healthy. And um, are you going to take one out? Yeah. Some nice. of them are adorable. Some are like, so friendly. Like this one. Alvin! Right. Hello Alvin! You are so sweet! We also brought a sand boa who is, this is Superworm. Superworm is his name anyway. 
Superworm bites, right? Yes, yeah, Superworm does like to bite. So watch your fingers. He didn't try to bite me though when I was handling him before putting him in. Okay. So Superworm is a sandbo that we're hopefully gonna find there a home for. There he is. Hi, buddy. Aren't you cute? You are so pretty. Look at your derpy, tiny little face. Oh. Okay, then we have Misha, who is just a huge leopard gecko. She's a chunk. Yeah, she is a chunk. We have some other leopard geckos here. Hopefully we will all find homes at this show. Who knows? That one's this favorite. one. This is actually uh, great. This leopard gecko already found a home while we were setting up, which is great. And a couple other leopard geckos too. Oh, oh there's the Misha. Oh my Big gosh. Chunky girl. Misha is ginormous. She's just like a beefy, beefy leopard She's gecko. She's in the heavyweight weight, uh, fighting class. Yeah, she is. Oh, look at you, Misha. <laughs> so now we're going to, I guess, go home. No, go to the hotel and come back while Ed's staring at her tail. Misha's not a boy. Or a girl. Misha's a boy. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Misha sounds like a female name. Yes, I shouldn't. It does. <laughs> I shouldn't have judged. Okay, Misha is a chunky dude. Yeah. Oh, look at this manly man. <laughs> He's in the heavyweight fighting He's, class. <laughs> exactly. Look at him. Big old Misha. Sorry. Didn't mean to assume. Now uh, we have to go pick up my stepdad, Phil, from the airport because he's going to help us out with sales and stuff. And then we'll come back tomorrow for the big day. Hooray! 80s. All right, it is now Saturday and we have about half an hour until the show starts and I think we have everything ready. I forgot my yeah. keys to our reptile enclosure so my stepdad Phil is running back to the hotel to grab those. Thank you, Phil. And we have our 80s attire on. Check it out. Nice. Nice. You and those also- leg warmers. Oh yeah, it's cold outside too. These are really nice actually. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab the camera. Ed's also in yep. 80s gear. It's all the way around. Sweet, looks good. Yep. We have a line starting, so hello. <laughs> I love the boombox. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a boombox. That is fantastic. <laughs> this is going to be a great 80s yep. day. <laughs> uh, you do know that the eight, your hairstyle is not 80s though. You should probably do like not a side ponytail. ponytail. Oh, side pony? Yeah, okay. side pony. Yeah, I'll do that. The video that was announcing 80s theme what, didn't get to 150,000 views, so I don't have to wear the tutu. I think you have to wear the tutu half the day. No, I don't want to wear the tutu. That's why I did a goal, so you don't have to. Alright, you got the side ponytail in. Got the side and pony. And you the earrings in. And the earrings. And you're wearing the tutu. Oh my gosh. Only for an hour, the first hour though. Oh, okay. Because we didn't get That's the right true. amount of views. Yep. So you, I shouldn't have to wear this at all. But I'm kind of making her. And it came with the outfit. That's true. So yeah, for you know, one that hour. That would be a bunch of waste. That's like, true. You know? Okay, so in the future, guys, if we set a view bar to wear or do a certain thing and now you have you have to yeah, this is this your is only last, freebie this, yep that's one freebie <laughs> oh my gosh okay it is 10 10 we kind of start forgot to start filming yeah, right I when the show to, opened i had to do leopard geckos and was cleaning the leopard gecko enclosures so now we have an awesome line of fans hi guys <laughs> and i guess our 80s themed meet and greet has officially begun yep All right, we, have, we are with our fan, Sophia, and with the help of her mom coordinating this, we have a very special gift for her. You can see there. All right, Sophia, you know how I asked if you had reptiles already? And you said no? Well, now you do have your first reptile. This is a rescued milk snake from Adoption Island, and her name is Moon, and this is your new snake. So should we take her out? <laughs> Here you go, here's your new snake. <laughs> Ariana is here and they are wearing an amazing 80s outfit. Look at this, the entire, the mohawk, the, the, just everything. So Ariana, do you keep reptiles? I do, I have a snake and then two tarantulas and the gecko. Oh right, what kind of snake? Um, it's just a normal corn snake. Oh cute though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, her name's Apricot. Oh, that's a perfect name for a corn snake. <laughs> are you gonna get anything at the show? Um, I don't think so, but I do need some new enclosures for my tarantulas, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no nice. animals though. <laughs> So thank you yeah. so much for coming. Of course, thank you so much for having me in your video. Wait, 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 before I forget. Pin. Thank you, oh my god. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right, well, Emily has been working at the line for 
three hours now. Three hours. So, fan brought you chocolate. Oh, I get a chocolate break? Yeah. Oh my, you didn't do anything to this chocolate, did you? That's why you're filming? Uh, no. In uh, an hour, worth, we will see. Worth the risk. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one to choose. There's a coffee bean on it. Oh yeah, one. I've got to do coffee. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Good. That's good. Oh, that one has like a filler. Is that a nut? There's caramel. Oh, nice. That was the other one I thought I might try. Well, I see mm. Ed's not getting any of these chocolates. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's delicious. I don't want to share food with Emily. Mm. You. I'm going to go through all these. So the show is still going on, and we have a handful of people around our booth. But Emily's sitting on the floor hiding and eating. I don't have a chair. You're using all the chairs. Phil's using the chairs. That's true. Look, look, he's got three chairs over there. What a greedy guy. No chairs for us. Yep, we have to sit on the floor and hide. Okay, it is five o'clock, end of the first day. Yeah. So we got through about three quarters of the show. Oh, wait, of the show? Yeah, we got to walk like three quarters of the show oh, today. Oh yeah, 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 we missed that quarter over there. Yeah. But that's right, we'll walk that tomorrow. Wow, we sold some stuffs. Yeah, yeah, a lot of plush went out. A lot of merch went out. We still have a decent. We haven't run out of anything yet. Um, a lot of shirts went. That was pretty We've cool. We ran out of some sizes of shirts. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Wow, a lot of sweatshirts sold. Yes, tons of sweatshirts sold. Which is None probably of the off snap, which is sad. Yeah, that's my favorite new yeah. design. Nobody wants. It's because it's too new, I think. Maybe, yeah, or yeah. too brightly colored. Yeah, that it could, could be that be. too. Yeah, maybe people want that in a black shirt. Yeah, like, maybe. But yeah, a lot of glow in the dark sold. I noticed that. Oh today. yeah, that was like one of the main ones that yeah. sold. Like we're down to adult sizes just in purple except the really large sizes. Yeah, yeah. So glow in the dark is definitely popular. Yes. So that's good to know. Uh, yeah, so it was... Same with Evolutions. Oh yeah, that's always been a popular yeah. one. So it's fun to see what designs people mm -hmm. pick. So the glow in the dark is one of my favorites, so I can see why that's popular. I think they're uh, kicking us out. Oh. Yeah, yep, I just heard it over the, the radio. Over that's the what thing. he was saying? Oh. Also, what are you drinking? Apple juice. Ah, uh, can I have some apple juice? No. Aww. Okay, we're gonna go to the auction after this. So if you watched our Tinley videos, our NARBC videos before, you kind of know what the auction is. Basically, vendors and the public donate things or animals to this auction. It's a live auction, and all the proceeds get donated to US Ark, which is, again, an amazing organization that fights for our rights to keep reptiles. The only problem is, we don't know where this auction is. Yeah, we've been kind of walking around for five minutes. I don't know where it is. Oh, oh cool. I would know, we don't know where no. it is. Upstairs. So. We were, well, we've been downstairs and upstairs, but we think it's upstairs, so we're going back upstairs. We were just on that side oh, of the building. We just followed yeah. you guys upstairs. Yeah, we followed so you because we thought you knew where you were going. That was your first mistake. <laughs> now, somebody, a bunch of people before us went like past us and down here, and we're like, cool, it must be downstairs. That's what we thought. Yeah, I, I don't All know where right, it is. Back upstairs. Okay, we're you upstairs. Know we're upstairs again. now. We're following Travis. There's a giant sign that says Grandma Road. Yeah. Oh, okay. We have found it. Maybe. Yeah. So I think it's this way. Okay. Uh, hey, we found it. They look like reptile people. This is this is it. Five twenty-five. Five twenty-five. Five fifty once, twice. So thank you very much. Three fifty once, twice. So three twenty-five. Thank you very much. That's it for the live auction. All right, the show just opened for VIP for Sunday, day two, and that gives us a little bit of time to shop around and maybe buy some stuff for our store before it opens to the public at 11. And so we're gonna, throughout the day today, try to balance shopping at the show and doing more meet and greet at our tables. Emily, where are you going? I have to change. Change. I'm gonna change back here. All right. There are windows back there. Yeah, Emily. Okay, I'll change. Changed, yeah, changed enough. So I didn't do side pony because I kind of got a headache yesterday, so it's back to its normal position. So I think that'll work. And now we have pins to give away. We have the yep. remaining 40 pins for the first 40 people in line who are dressed in 80s. And there's a line here, which is fantastic. So good morning. Hi. <laughs> I guess we'll get started. <laughs> Emily, cheese is going home. <gasps> cheese is going yeah, home? Yeah, cheese really? is going home. Aw, yay, you found a home. 
Who's he going? Oh, that's right. They adopted you. They're picking yep. him up. Oh, he looks so happy. Yeah. Look at that big smile on he his was, face. He was sleeping. Oh, so he just yeah, woke he him up. <laughs> Yay! Cheese is getting adopted. Goodbye, cool. Cheese. Goodbye, Cheese. Have fun in your new bioactive 40 gale, and they have a huge enclosure for him too. I remember them from yesterday. <laughs> Thanks for getting getting Cheese. <laughs> I'm here with William and Trenton with Exotics Unlimited, and they specialize in a unique combination of animals. William specializes in tarantulas, and uh, Trenton specializes in sand boas. So we're gonna learn a little bit about each of them today. Should we start with tarantulas? Yeah, that's fine. So um, up here we have a few of uh, our personal favorites here at Exotics Unlimited. Um, the Gramasola polka, also known as the Brazilian black, is one of the most popular beginner species. They come from an arid region in Brazil, and um, they are super easy to take care of. The people joke and say that they're pet rocks actually. Which oh really? Is, yeah, and they're super chill animals, um, great for handling and interacting with. Um, another great species that we deal with here at Exox Unlimited is Caribbean Diversity Killer, one of the hobby classics and favorites here. Um, they're super colorful animals and also a very chill species, um, have a bright blue coloration, and as adults they get a nice green and purple and pink hues, so really is the gorgeous animal. Versicolor the green bottle blue? No, that no, is sorry, that okay. is the Martinique pink toe, yes. Oh, the pink toe yeah. is the Versicolor. Correct. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And then the last, we do have the green bottle blue, you are right. Um, okay. That's yeah, one so of we, my favorites, yeah, yeah. We have one in our zoo and an exhibit, it's a great oh, display Yeah, they're animal. awesome animals, and they're, the color change from sling to adult is one of our favorite things to watch yes. here. And it holds a special place in my heart, because as a hobbyist, it was the first sling that I raised to maturity, so it really does hold a special place in my heart. Um, what would you say, if you had to give one word of advice to someone who's looking to keep a tarantula for the first time, what would you share with them? Um, it's important to, to find somebody that really has a path for the animals that's gonna help you find what you are looking for. Different people have different experience levels and you know, for beginners, it's all about finding what fits you the best. We always say okay. here at Exox Unlimited that there's a tarantula for everyone and that's what we help people find. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, William. I think yeah. we're gonna head awesome. on over to Trenton's side Sounds of the table great. with all the sand boas. Awesome. And I just love this combination that you two work with uh, together. So sand boas. Yeah. What drew you to sand boas to work with them? Um, so the first time I ever saw Kenyan sand boas, I was watching Steve Irwin and he pulled this three foot long, super stocky fat snake out of the soil. And yep. I was like, that is super cool. Well then, I think it was my second Repticon that I went to. I was looking at tables and I saw sand boas and there was a black and white one. And that kind of made me fall in love with them. And then I found out they have all these different colors and they stay small and they're easy to care for. So, they're great beginners. Yeah, they just kind of clicked yeah. with me. Yeah. Have you found that they're pretty good eaters too? Yeah, yeah, they eat very well. Most of my babies start off on frozen thawed right from birth. Wow. And the ones that stick out for life, they don't take long. To switch over to so, frozen thawed? Yep, nice. Yeah, and they eat once a week, and you never need anything larger than a mouse. Okay, so even an adult sand boa, a female, is going to yeah. just have a, would you say jumbo mouse is the yeah, max? Yeah, yeah. Even, even adult females, I'll give them jumbo mice. Even the, the largest females, you can give them small rats, but they don't need that. Right, they're very fatty. Exactly, then. yeah. How often would you recommend feeding an adult sand boa? Uh, adults, uh, males, I feed every two weeks. It's a maintenance diet. Okay. Uh, they don't need to get overweight. They don't They don't live that long. If you get them overweight, it's not good for them. Right. Uh, females, I'll feed them weekly, especially if they're breeding. If they're not breeding, then I would feed them every other week. Okay, perfect. So you'd recommend that to people at home Great. as well? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. If you're keeping a yeah. pet, I would, you know, once they reach adult size, I would feed them every other week. That's fair. There's a lot of fat snakes in captivity. Exactly. So yeah, it's yeah. Easy yeah. To I'm, I'm definitely, I push for keeping snakes a healthy weight. Overweight snakes are not happy. What would you say is your favorite morph of sand boa? Um, my favorite morph of sand boa would have to be the paints. Uh, the paints were proved out by Jeff Holloway, and they're one of the newer recessive genes. They're super popular. They have all kinds of cool combo con like combinations with anery, albino, the snows, and they're recently being combined with splash, which is like a piebald sand boa. Oh, that that's is what splash does. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Splash is like a piebald, so it makes really cool looking animals. Well, thank you so much for the yeah, information. Of if people want to learn more about Exotics Unlimited where can they go? They can go to our um, Facebook page or our website. We actually do write-ups online and give plenty of information on our website for, to help newer keepers and experienced keepers learn more about the animals. Wonderful. Yeah, also we're on Instagram too and it's a newer page so go give us some likes and follows. We'd like to grow that page and you know start posting on there too. Awesome. Go check out Exotics Unlimited. Thank you so much for your time guys. Yeah, yeah of thanks, course. Guys. Thank you.
I'm here with John from Pangea, and a lot of you recognize the Pangea brand, and a lot of you might know that they specialize in crested geckos, but they breed some other fun things as well, which we're gonna get into soon. But first and foremost, can you explain who Patient Zero is? Yeah, so this is Patient Zero. He's one of the most famous crested geckos in the world. He was first described as a pied crested gecko. Piebaldism is actually a trait, um, and he did not pass that down to his offspring. Oh, um, it wasn't, didn't pet, uh, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. That would've been so exciting to see him and be like, you have a pied. And then, it's, and then it's not genetic. Yeah, it's not genetic. Um, so I actually kind of think it could be some sort of skin disorder because he had pig he had yellow pigment all through his head, and over time um, he's been losing pigment. So now you can see uh, lack of pigment more on between his eyes. Wow, really? So this has just been developing further and further. How, how old is he? He's about 15 years old. Oh my gosh! Wow. That is so interesting. If not long, or if not older. Really? Okay. What's average lifespan for crested geckos? I didn't realize it was that um, long. It could be 20 plus years. Get it really? Okay. Yeah. I for some reason thought it was less than that. Okay. Well, they do it'll... very well in captivity, uh, especially on our diet and supplementing crickets. Yep. 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 <laughs> I bet people love seeing Patient Zero. At the... Does he go to all the shows with you guys? Um, so we've been taking him to the NARBCs lately. Okay. He's a big hit, and everyone gets to see one of the most lovable guys. He even has his own apparel line, like right here. Patient Zero shirts. That's how famous this one crested gecko is for looking so unique. I love it. What is your favorite morph of crested gecko then? Uh, my favorite morph is probably one of the ones that we produce, which is the Triple X. Ooh. Uh, so this is a Triple S, Triple X crested gecko. Wow. And so what it stands for is extreme, extreme, extreme harlequin. So a harlequin has the um, pattern going up to its dorsal, but when it starts breaking it like that, and you know going over its back, that's when you get the triple X kind of. Wow! Look. And you guys produce these pretty regularly? Yes. So this wow. is one of our specialty geckos. Wow! Um, they come in all different sorts of colors. Um, this one's a really nice Halloween color, and it fires up very bright orange. Oh, is this your favorite crusty that's here at the table, would you say? Yeah, this is probably my favorite guy. Nice, the yep. triple X. Yep. I can see why people would like Patient Zero, too. Yeah. <laughs> They're both beautiful. Well, he's my favorite gecko that we have. This is my favorite one here we have for sale at the table. Gotcha, so, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, and you guys breed more than just crested geckos, right? What else we do. do you produce? Yeah. So we produce a lot of gargoyle geckos. Okay. Uh, we also do uh, Coralophus saracenorum, and we do uh, not just geckos, but we also do lizards. So we also do like ackies, red ackies. Okay, um, nice. But for other geckos, we do do toke geckos, and lichianus, and morning geckos. You do a bit of everything as far as the geckos go. Yes. Oh, and I see an angry toke off screen that we're gonna grab here. <laughs> and we'll see if John gets bit by the toke. Oh, he there's a nice, nice toke. toke. He's happy. Yeah, Very happy. A big smile. Good color. <laughs> and he's grunting. Yes. <laughs> he's saying hi to everybody. So sometimes they have really pretty bellies. Yeah. At least they don't bite and hang on. They just bite and let go. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Oh it doesn't gosh. hurt that much. So. That's good. <laughs> You won't even no. bite me. <laughs> it's all I don't want to bite if you're giving me the finger to bite. <laughs> now, toke geckos can be handleable as adults if they're raised, or they're socialized a lot as babies, right? Yep, or even as juveniles or sub-adults too. Okay. Um, it's a little harder when they're adults because their bite hurts a lot more. <laughs> I suppose it would, yes. <laughs> to train them and stuff. <laughs> awesome. Well, if people want to learn more about the geckos and other lizards that Pangea produces, where can they go? Yeah, they can go to PangeaReptile.com. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, and I hope you have a good show. Of course, thanks. All right. Oh. Okay. It's like um, half an hour past the point where we should have been going shopping. Yeah, we so. should have. We, we got distracted by doing meet and greet for a little bit long, and that's that's okay. Now we just have an hour and a half till the show is done. So that means so, an hour and a half yeah. to buy things. Go. <laughs> okay. And the show is over, so Ed died. Mm. You did. What if, too bad you're not ticklish. I can't like do anything. Yeah. But we got what we needed. We bought a bunch of stuff for the store, so we're good. So everything's fine. So I'm dead, so I don't have to help pack oh, up, no, right? Oh no, you're alive. Look, you're dead. alive. I have to help pack up, sorry. All right, so we have a lot less that we're going home with. Like, that's all empty. We've got presents over there that we're bringing with. And we're bringing this stuff home, we're bringing the stuff on that cart home, that's going home. 
And we bought a lot of stuff that's already in the van. Yeah, you guys haven't seen the van yet. No, how are we gonna fit all this in there? I don't know, just wait till you see the van. Oh no, really? Is it that bad? Uh, let's put it this way, Phil might have to get strapped to the roof to bring to the oh, airport no. tomorrow. You can do that. <laughs> I'm an Uber. We'll find a way to fit it somehow. Maybe. That's, we haven't even started packing. That's yeah. just the tarantula cribs. Which I mean, we can stack a little bit that way, but yeah. Um, Thanks, Kim. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna fit all of that and this and more boxes. Let's- Jenga, if we do it too much, everything disappears. So we can't do it too bad. So we just have to make it match perfectly. Yes. Okay. I don't we're know not Jenga, uh, if that can physically touch. fit in here. There's a little bit of space. Um, we also have live animals still in the building, so I don't know how this is gonna work. All right, so we got everything except for the live animals, which Phil's, is, Phil's holding. And how are we doing this, Emily? I'm gonna sit on there. No, you're okay. gonna sit in the chair and I'm gonna climb in there. No, we're not making you sit in yes, that. It's oh. like a haystack. Emily's already in, so. Yeah, All right, then I'll hold this. Yeah, do you wanna grab the top, the top box? box? Yeah, okay. And if you wanna open that door, I will sit there right. with this on my lap. You jump in there, maybe. Well. Won't be no jumping. <laughs> but I'm in. All right, we're we're almost there. I'm gonna close Phil in. I'm gonna close Emily in. And now I'm just gonna run away. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Okay, we made it. We fit everything in the van. I I'm surprised, but we fit it all in the van. And now we're gonna show you what we're gonna go home with. We had a blast at this show. The St. Louis show was a great turnout. We were busy the entire weekend. And I think we'll show you some of the amazing gifts that fans gave us and then some of the animals that we're gonna go home with. So first and foremost, I want to, we both, Ed and I want to thank everybody who came to the show and said hi to us, supported the vendors yep, there. Dressed in 80s stuff. Dressed in 80s, yes. Thank you extra for the people who dressed in 80s. It was so much fun watching everybody come in with their amazing costumes. We're trying to think of other dress theme ideas. So if you have an idea of what we should do for a dress, th dress theme at a future event, let us know in the comments. But yeah, thank you everybody for saying hi and meeting us. You didn't have to get us gifts but you did anyway, so I'm gonna shout some people out here. I mean, thank you to the fans who gave us the twin snakes and there's other gummies that we were given yeah, to. lots of gummies. Lots of gummies. Thank you, Luke, for these awesome honeymoon chocolates, which he told us to let it sit in on our tongue for a while and then like eat it that way. So this is gonna be a car ride home snack. Okay. I can't wait to try that. Yes. Chocolate popcorn. Oh my gosh, that's a great road snack. There's like fancy chocolates. There's chocolate Bag chocolates. balls. There's nerds. Some of you gave us Pokemon cards. Oh, I dropped a couple. Yep. Oh no, it's Brilliant. Entei. Okay, oh no. I'll, I'll pick Entei up. Don't worry. Tons of art. Tons of amazing art that you guys sent us. More chocolate. To. More chocolate. These are just fantastic. I think we're gonna have to find, get as many as we can hung behind the registers up front so that our customers can see this amazing art too. So it's fun to bring, don't know what that Hoppy is. Works. Hoppy works? Hoppy works? <laughs> oh, it was a bag. Oh, there's stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I thought it was like a pamphlet for copy works. But yes, more artwork. Thank you guys so much for all of this. It's been a blast going through it now that we can like actually calm down and go through all the art. That's been fun too. Thank you to the fan who tried to find axolotls at this show for us because we are trying to do an axolotl exhibit in our zoo. There weren't any axolotls at the show, living ones anyway, but a fan got us this. Yeah. So we can still go home with an axolotl of sorts. Oh, an upset axolotl. An upset one. And last but- now, well, When did the plant show up? I just came over and there was a plant. Really? Oh yeah, yeah a fan pulled it out of a bag during meet and greet. <laughs> and they just like to repot a lot of plants. I asked for a business card so I could give their business a shout out, but they didn't have one with them. So in the future, hand me a card and then I can give you an actual shout out for your plants. But thank you so much for this. And then, I mean, there's still a lot more, of course, too, but some of it got buried in the van. Some of the gifts you gave us got buried in the van and we weren't able to pull them back out because everything is packed so tight. But we did have this that was accessible because it's in the hotel room. Somebody made us a snakeskin pattern blanket and it is fantastic. It is so warm. I'm just gonna have it on my lap, I think. There you go. For the rest of this. This is, this is amazing. I love this blanket so much. Thank you. Okay, so 
I think we're gonna wrap up this video with the animals that we're gonna go home with. We actually didn't get anything for our personal collection at this show. We just got a bunch of animals for our shop from really great breeders. It's nice to be able to see the animals in person. First, we got from Luke some mantises. These are Darth Vader mantises, obviously only one per container. We're going home with, I think, eight of them, nine of them maybe. But I mean, if you can't see them, I can kind of see them, and then the camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Yeah, because he's really tiny. Can you kind of see yep. him, maybe? All right, well, there you go. Darth Vader mantis. Thank you, Luke. Luke actually and his family gave us some mantises so that we could rehome them and use the proceeds towards adoption animals, which is perfect because yesterday, I guess while we were gone, we had a blue tailed monitor surrender that has a dislocated leg. So, to but. Get home to a vet coming over. The vet bills never end when you do a reptile rescue. So, thank you for that. We're also going home with some ball pythons. These are just a few of the ball pythons that we're grabbing, but we love best dressed balls. Yeah. So, Troy's awesome. Troy Troy's and Lisa and are Lisa. amazing. So, I wanted to point this one out and kind of sh share something fun with you. This is a, a GHI. Uh, um, orange dream yellow belly slash gravel and what I love about the GHI morph is it literally stands for gotta have it because it does some crazy things with the pattern and they just look so pretty it makes hi he's just staring you down you, you are so cute oh my goodness you just what? What are you doing? Oh. Here's what he sees. He's like, oh, my don't. Oh, <laughs> that's his view. He can look up my nose. <laughs> he doesn't want to be petted, though. Oh, oh, oh don't, don't touch that. me. Yeah, he's beautiful. We picked up, I think, a dozen ball pythons from them because we really like best dressed balls as yep. snakes. Very high quality. Picked up an ivory from them. And check this out. We got a pastel yeah. freeway. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. That's not stay in the stop shop for long. No, we have a female banana, which wow. is pet pied. Like that's a crazy one. Usually bananas are all, bananas are all males, so we've never had a female in the store before. And yeah, we just picked up a bunch of ball pythons, really nice ball pythons from them. Yeah, there's more in that bin. Yeah, there's a lot bags, more. They're so. in bags, yeah. <laughs> it's a little harder to see them on camera. We have a bunch of corn snakes that we yeah. also picked up from this show. And it's, this is just a variety of different morphs. I can kind of take them off one by one really quick here. If you want to scan through, we've got a te uh, Tessera or slash Tessera. We've got a Lucy rat snake, so not a corn snake. Tried trying one of those out. Beautiful lava Tessera. We've got a snow stripe in there. We've got a strawberry, something cute we figured. An Amel Ultra, which is beautiful. Got some size on it. And just a plain old Amel and a stick. Yep. So just a variety of corn snakes. We figure with Christmas coming up, some people might want to get a corn snake for Christmas. So we'd have some at our store from great breeders for them to choose from. And last but not least for snakes, we picked up garters. Yep. We have albino checkers. We've got Florida blues that we're gonna carry for the first time and some more Florida blues and Mexican black king snakes. We have a clutch of six babies that we're bringing back to the store. Uh, yeah, so that's everything we're bringing back as far as snakes go. We're also trying out some dart frogs that we picked up from Josh, Josh's frogs. Yep. We haven't had jo uh, dart frogs for sale before, but we're going with, we have a few of each of these species and they are beautiful. I'm not sure how well they'll do at the store, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. Yes, maybe they'll do better than we expect. They might, I know there's been some people around us Asking oh, for darts. Asking for dart frogs. Yeah, so. that is true. Uh, and also we picked up some inverts. This is kind of the last thing that we are yep. going home with from this show. We've got a good variety of inverts from Exotics Unlimited, who was the vendor we interviewed. Uh, here he is at this show. Ah, yep. Yep. Oh, he's blue. Yeah, we've got him. There's, I don't know, probably like 20 tarantulas that we're going home with. And since we covered them in this video, we're bringing home some Versicolors, some pink toes. Yep. Because those are great beginners, so we figured we'd bring some with us. So maybe yeah, we'll maybe people would want some. And, and a we bunch have a, of GBBs. A bunch of GB. Yep, yep. Got a lot of those. We're going home with some Brazil, Brazilian blacks, so pulcras. And yeah, oh, that's actually one of these. Yeah. So here's a pulcra. They get jet black as they get older. Got to get that out of the sun. It's got yeah. some good size on them already. But yeah, they'll just continue to lose that browns and just go straight yeah. to those blacks. Yeah. And probably the most exciting thing from this show, other than meeting everybody and I guess picking up animals for our shop, was finding homes for so many animals in our adoption island. How many did we bring? We brought 18 leopard geckos and we're going home and with... five crested geckos. And five crested geckos. And one sand boa. Yep. And all we're going home with is 
two leopard geckos. Everything else found amazing homes at this show. So we are definitely going to be doing that again at all the NARBCs that we vend at. And as long as we have the supplies for it, and like the animals. The animals, that's true. <laughs> if we don't have any animals in Adoption Island or we only have a couple, we're going to leave them at home. Yeah. But we seem to always have a surplus. So we as long as we have that. always seem to have a that, surplus of leopard geckos, yes. of geckos, and uh, bearded dragons. Next in, we might have to do bearded dragons one of these days. Maybe at like Arlington or yeah. something. We'll see how many we have. We have too many of those. We have a lot of beardies in Adoption Island. So awesome. Awesome. It was very uh, like uplifting to see all those animals find great homes too. So, so thank you again for everything. This was an amazing experience, the St. Louis show. Can't wait for next year's. I think they're only doing one a year from now on. So next November we'll be at uh, St. Louis again. Yep. And thank you to Phil for helping us out. Yes, thank you, Phil, so much. My, my stepdad, Phil, for helping us at the tables. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Thank you, Brian, Bob, and Kristen for putting on these shows. I know they're a ton of work, but you do a fantastic job coordinating them, and you always get a good turnout. So yeah, thank you to everybody who made this entire trip uh, an amazing experience. So. Uh, last but not least, thank you Patreon backers for your endless support. You guys are amazing as well and make trips like this possible. And I guess we will see you next time at the Arlington, Texas NARBC in February 2023. We know what the theme is going to be, the dress theme, but we're not going to announce it quite yet. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you next time.